Right, okay, I've now cleaned the car and I've now been polishing the car, just giving it a quick buff um, just with a, a handheld bog standard buffer that I picked up from Halford, so nothing expensive. Um, it probably could do benefit from a, a decent professional one, but I don't have one, so I'm out. It's out of luck. So anyway, let's have a look and you can see what the finish currently is. Um, once I've done, I'll leave that. I might have to do it again. There's a few pieces I need to fix as well um, on the roof, but you, you certainly can see the shine and, and how that's going to look. Um, then before it gets the clear coat on it, but it'll need a little bit more work, but let's have a quick look around and see what we've got. So there you go. You can see much shinier than it was, which is quite nice. It's buffed up quite nice and it's given a good look to the on the uh, on the stressing of the paint so you can see that and it's it bits of it have buffed up really well and other bits haven't which I think is really quite good because um, you can look down on the front there you can see I've done the grill the grill looks pretty good fortunately I've moved my other car now so I can't get close enough but you can see on the the bonnet I did take that out a little bit because I thought there was too much red on that but if you come up here and you can see that the paints remain dull there and it's a little bit brighter and then it's dull so there are patches where I kind of rubbed it down here and I haven't uh, polished it too much so you've you've got a kind of a distressed look on the paint and then you can see up on the roof this bit of the roof is quite good I think this side is was always quite clean and then the back, as I said, I haven't done much with the back because the back wasn't in too bad a shape and I thought it was quite uh, quite good to leave it like that. It gives it a good contrast. But yeah, you can see here now, now you can see the real, really where the scratches have come out. So I think it's quite good. It looks like it's been scraped and scraped and a little bit battered. Oh, it's difficulty focusing. There we go. You can just see them there. So just move along. You can see the scrapes. And then up on the top, um, you can see where I put the little bit of colour just to make it a little bit different a little bit odd and there where I left the filler in which I've rubbed back down and there are a few patches I might have to do again you can see there look I think I have to fill those as well so I'll come back to those um, so there's a little bit more to do on the front there but, uh, you can see how that speckled effect has come through and then you can see a really distinct mark which is where I uh, um, did some repair work on it previously and it's come through quite clearly now where I've rubbed it back so it's given it something a bit different and then on the front you can see now how that's that's polished up much much better and looks a lot lot a lot, lot cleaner and shinier so that's what we look like now that's the current status again you can see the dull look there left a bit of filler in this one but that was quite good um, and that's it that's how she's looking at the minute and uh, still a little bit more work to do but we're getting there I think we're nearly there and uh, I'll record the next stage once I've done a little bit more on the top and we'll see what it finally looks like <laughs> 